Hey guys, it's Callie Ann. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and let's get into it. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you guys my life and all about me. And I want to do this because it was requested on my TikTok from a few TikTokers. So I would like to share it with you. So let's get started. So I'm 39 years. My name's Callie Ann. I'm 39 years old. I was born in Sarasota, Florida. I was born normally. And then I found out that I had, a, I found out when I was three and a half years old, I had a seizure that caused me to have a fever that was past 103 and 104. The doctor said that I went, probably wouldn't have made it. So the seizure caused me brain damage and it caused me to be an infant again. I, um, it made me nonverbal go into a infant stage and I didn't learn how to walk, talk, or eat until, until I was about maybe seven or eight at, after physical therapy. Then I got tested for Fragile X um, right after um, when, I, when I was at John Hopkins University. And Fragile X is something to do with um, the round of your face, the big ears, and it's, it's um, genetic. Um, there's two types, two types of Fragile X. There's a bare Fragile X and there's mild. I have the mild Fragile X. So I have brain damage, I have ADHD, ADD, OCD. I have a lot of the symptoms of Fragile X. Um, if you need to look it up, I can put it, I can look it up for you guys and I can put it in the, um, on the community post for you guys to know what it's all about. Um, Fragile X was not invented until 1999 or 1998, I believe. No, 1991. I don't remember when it was invented. If you remember, comment down below. I do have a, I do have a outro. I want to show you guys at the end of this video. I was laying down because I've been working all freaking day and I'm exhausted and then me and my daughter went to the Festival of Lights. We had a girls' night because girls night, we never get to do anything, so we did that. So let's get back to what we were talking about. So I was born in Sarasota Memorial Hospital. And I get teased and bullied because the way I look. I guess people can't understand my disability. So I get help from the state and I need to clean out this brush. It's all dirty. So um, my disability is not as severe as other disabilities out there. Um, I had, I had um, trouble with my right eye. I had crystal in my right eye when I was baby. I had something on above my eye when I was little and it had it was cancerous so we got it tested and we had to get removed before it spread through my face and I have a scar on my one of my eyes right here um what else I was in special schools all my life I was a cheerleader dancer and what else um Like what else could I say to you guys? Um, I don't really have a relationship with my real father. He decided that he didn't believe in disability, so he gave me up. My mom took him from me, but he didn't. He didn't want to be in my life. Like we tried so hard to put him in my life, but he just didn't believe in me having kids or 
me doing anything with my life. He just said to me that I was a mistake. So I was, um, let's see, I was left alone with him and all I know is he was mean. So my mom said he didn't believe in disabilities and it kind of hurts me because my dad, I wish my dad was in my life, honestly. So my mom, and my stepdad raises me. Um, and I have a daughter who's almost 16. Her birthday is December 14th and I bought her some birthday presents. I got her a hat for her birthday. I got her a key because she picked everything out, a t-shirt for her birthday. And she picked out a cute key keychain. I don't have them with me and they're really pretty. And um, I'm getting her some, um, hopefully when I get my work check, I'm going to get her some Christmas presents. Um, I wish my dad was in my life. I never knew who my dad was. Um, I met him when I was, I, he left me when I was four months. And, um, yeah. So, have, having no dad, like, in my life, it sucks. And I grew up with my mom side of the family, my Nana side. My Nana was my biggest supporter. Um, she, when she passed away, I was devastated, really hurt. Um, I thought that my life was, was over because after my, when, when you lose someone so special in life, you feel like your life is over. And my Nana was my rock. Um, and I miss her so much. And, um, I love my family. Um, so I had my daughter when I was 23. And spending time with my daughter today is the best thing. Yes, yeah, today. Um, there is a video on my other channel. It's called the Calico Family. So if you want to go ahead and go over there and subscribe, the festival video will be on that channel and a few pictures. Um, I will be adding more pictures to my Instagram here in a little bit. Um, so I, so I don't like myself as much because I get bullied online for, for stupid reasons and I try to ignore it as much as possible because I'm trying to get my life back on track and when I having a job keeps me from being online and keeps me from not caring what other people say. Um, I did dye my hair yesterday before I went to before I went to bed last night and um I did the best I could. I had to get in the shower again to rinse it off three times because it was burning. Like box dye is not good for your good for good for you to be dying your hair but I had to get I had to get my um roots done because my roots were looking bad and I did not want to go to work like that so what else did I do um I just want to say that I love every single one of you um I'm really tired but I'm trying I'm trying not to go back to sleep for a little bit because I'm a little bit tired but I'm not as tired I might get a drink and just watch a movie or something um i was supposed to have my tiktok live tonight but i'm too out of it so i'm gonna do it on sunday um let me fix this this piece right here guys it's a long story you do not want to know um so i work monday and tuesday um i bought some new stickers that i will show you guys um it's it's three stickers that I bought for my computer. Um, it, it's some stickers that I bought. So at work today, I lost one of my pins off of my, off of my like lantern, my work lantern. So I'm kind of sad about that, but I have many more. Life is hard when you have a disability. Life is really hard, you know, and I don't know. I mean, I love who I am and 
I don't care what people think anymore because it's just old news and I'm trying to ignore as much as possible and not give any time of day. I apologize for yawning. I'm exhausted. I have my back's been killing me. My feet are killing me because right after work, I was carrying a heavy bag. Um, so what do I do after work today? After work, I, um, my daughter met me at my job and then we went to go shopping a little bit for her birthday and then a little shopping spree for her birthday. After that, we went to go get something quick to eat. Then we went to the charging station in the mall. After that, we went to um, Toys R Us and Macy's. And then I, f then we went to the bathroom, went to the Festival of Lights. And let me tell you guys, they're so pretty. They're on my vlog channel. Um, they're so pretty. And I enjoy, like, to be honest with you guys, I enjoy seeing the lights. They're, see, we they started a festival thing at the lake because Ellicott City has lights and everything. But this one, Ellicott City has, like, where you can walk and go shopping and stuff. But it's nice because you can go to the mall, go shopping, and then get done and walk over the bridge to go see the lights. And I enjoy that. And I'm just, like, happy. This was their second year doing it. They just started, and the pictures will be on my Instagram, guys. I'm, I'm obsessed with the lights. Like, I'm really happy with the lights. I love them. Um, my, at first, my daughter was not feeling good, so we sat by the bonfire for a little bit. And then I went to go get some pictures, get the video done, and then I went to go get do some little um holiday stickers. Um, like decorate them and I played a game. I want some sunglasses. And they they light up. And then I went back to get her. We went to go get a cookie, some candy canes, and I let her have some we, we had some daughter and mommy time. I wanted to share I wanted to ask her to be on cam with me, but she's at that age where she doesn't want to do anything. I, we had this plan. We were supposed to go last Friday, but it rained outside. So we went to go eat and then I did it with her because it was something that I think she might like at the end. She was happy. We had fun. Um, what else did we do? Um, we were going to go back to the mall to get ice cream. I wanted to get her ice cream, but she got to pick out her birthday gifts. And I had a Diet Coke at the mall. Other than that, we didn't really do much. My life story is, is not that hard of a life story. I'm trying the best I can to do my content. Like I said, I have been dealing with an ear infection, double ear infection. My ears do hurt once in a while, but after I finally got my ears to open up, um, I I uh, I blew my nose and my ears are not hurting as much because they popped and my ear infection's not as bad as it was like two days ago. So other than that, I was supposed to go Christmas shopping tomorrow, but if I don't get my work check, I can't. So I might, I'm supposed to have a really big sale at the mall. And I'm not going to be able to do that if I don't have any money. So other than that, dealing with getting bullied. Like I was bullied in, um, in first grade all through middle school because of my, because I was wearing glasses and they didn't, I think, I guess they didn't like me. And then I would get beat up for no reason, I guess because they didn't like me because I was not, because I, was, because I wasn't the beautiful. And I remember when I was in middle school, my ex best friend, we were, I guess we were talking and he accidentally made my nose bleed and I had a black eye. And that was because he didn't, I guess, I was 
guess I was I guess I was getting beat up all the time and getting beat up and getting you know hurt for no reason it sucks but um I forget his name that was in middle school that did that and I I don't know why people hate me so much but there's nothing you can do you know being a being I have special needs and I'm I'm so glad that God gave me another chance to live because if it wasn't for God to give me this chance to live I wouldn't be here today being having seizures suck like I feel like sometimes when I'm shaking I feel like I'm having one but it's not it's just like a panic attack so I tried to not let them happen I haven't had one since I was three and a half but I'm just glad to be here and you know I lived in Maryland since 1985 and I've been here all my life and I love it um, I'm trying so hard to make new friends. You can't trust nobody. Like, after the incident with that person that faked to be my friend, I don't trust, I can't trust anybody anymore. Like, trusting people, I can't. And the only person I really talk to um, is Puffin Muffin and my family and my friend Sarah. I don't really have any friends, really, because I don't. I don't, I'm not on, on YouTube to make, to make impressions. I'm not on YouTube to be a mean person. I'm on here to do my content and do me and be happy. Well, I'm just, didn't know what else to say, guys. If you want to learn more about my Fragile X, just look it up. Um, Fragile X is, there's, like I said, there's two types of Fragile X. There's a severe Fragile X and there is the non- severe fragile x i was born with a small case of fragile x and then there's another one where it's really severe so i was very lucky but doing that i can't really go far well the only time i went on vacation by myself is with my daughter's father um and then my ex we went to new york city that was my first trip without my parents and I've been to Ocean City, I've been to New Jersey, well, no, I've been to Ocean City with my exes, but being out of state, like, right, like, out of state, you gotta be careful, because if you miss your bus, you'll get stuck down there. I was, New York City was one of my favorite places to visit, but I really want to go back. My, my goal is to go back to New York City, to go to the m, &M world, that, I want to take my daughter so bad, but challenges is challenges and i'm trying to be happy and do my do my own thing and just make the best of it i don't want to be judged i know i'm not the perfect person in the world i know i'm not perfect sometimes i can do things that people don't like but i'm trying my best to do better and to be happier and not let it bother me and that's my that's my goal for this year. Again, comment down below what your what your what do you want to do for the resolution? My goal is to get to 10k, to be a big YouTube YouTuber, do more content, and just be happy and not 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 let nothing get in my way. Well, this is Kelly Ann, and I'm gonna get off here and probably go watch a show or. A movie or go play my game for a little bit if you guys want to go ahead and check out my other youtube channel i will try my best to put it in the description box so you guys can go over there and subscribe um i do have a video a premiere coming out at midnight so go ahead and check it out i love you guys so much stay you stay true and be positive and don't let no one get to you don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification and bum button for more videos i post every Sunday and Wednesday. Have a great day. Bye. I think 56 nights crazy. I think